Hey everyone, this is Osomo Kabeishi from Zen Ideas. Today I want to show you how to integrate or sync information between Fluent CRM and Jet Engine and the WordPress users. So this is amazing. Um, if you're building especially uh, some membership website, uh, this is going to be fantastic. So to me, this is a game changer. Now, what you need is the latest, um, well, not latest, but Fluent, Fluent Form plugin above 5.1.12 all right by the way so this is without any api okay so this is not not really complicated it's very straightforward settings all right so let me show you uh what you can achieve here quickly all right so on the right right side of the screen or window is uh, i logged in as a member okay and the left side of the screen is I logged in as an admin, so you know you can manage contact with Fluent CRM. So this is a Fluent CRM. It's contact management system uh, built with WordPress. Okay, it's a great plugin. Now, so those two, so this is just the form that user or member can update their information or their profile. So for example, so if um, if he uh, changed the address, so I'm going to type to one two three four here and then hit update and then so i'm going to refresh here so this change so those are between two so it talks to each other and the bottom here too so if you update uh, let's say google oops and update so this is custom field uh built with uh, fluent crm and then uh, so if you refresh this page so it changed that all right and then now, so let's open up this user and then this particular user here. All right, so same user. And then um, now as you scroll down bottom, so this is a user meta I created with Jet Engine. Okay, so I show you throughout this um, this tutorial. And then uh, so what, what you can do is, since I changed to Google, so if you refresh this, should have changed that too, right here, okay? So I'm gonna change to, uh, let's say meta and then change the, website to meta right and then i hit update now so this is actually so jet engine meta field it's going to change the meta and the same thing too like if you even checkbox if you check all three uh, items and if you refresh so change that too so uh, it works actually both way too so if you change um, from admin apple and then you know change company name here hit update user and if you refresh this uh, form it changed apple and the good thing is if you go back to uh flint crm if you refresh and then so all the information is synced too like just checkbox three or checked okay all right so you need to have a uh, jet engine and a fluent crm and a flint forms plugin so those three plugins are essential for this tutorial and then Flint Forms, um, yes, uh, you need to have a pro um, upgraded version for this. All right, so let's uh, first let's create the, the meta box for users in this case. Okay, so I'll just create a meta box here. I'm gonna probably increase the size. Okay, so I already created here. So let me take a quick click. So this is a meta box title, and I make sure this is for user. Okay, meta box is for user. Okay and then uh, so there are some metas so simple text uh your organization so that's a company uh, your uh, or organization name uh this is just the url uh website okay and this is like simple text text field and then your skills uh this is just uh yeah this is just checkbox and i just I create a, a grocery so you can use um uh, you can create it manually too but i like using a uh, uh, grocery uh for this so as you probably know, groceries here, because it's easier to update things, okay? So you can just create a JavaScript, a Python, and a PHP. So you can keep adding if you want to, uh, but for this demo, I'll just keep it three. All right, so next, uh, let's go to Fluent Form Pro, and then Forms. And then, so you have to create a new uh, form. And then, uh, so I already created this form. It's called Member Profile Update. Okay, so just click Edit. Uh, if you're not really familiar with the Fluent form, it's really easy to use. I like their user interface. Uh, you can just drag and drop. 
All right, so I'm not going to really go, uh, go into too detail uh, for how to use um, Flint form because uh, there's lots of tutorial for this and it is super easy. So you can just drag and drop the email field right here. So I have that. And then for form field, I think I use um, input mask uh, for that. All right. And then just change a label here. Okay. So one thing uh, is uh, here, this tag. So for example, email, so go to advanced options and you see default value. Okay, so you just pick this and then uh, because this is a user um, email, I'm gonna show. Yeah, so you gotta just pick that. Okay, so same as uh, phone number and then uh, this last name, first name too. Uh, if you're here, uh, if it's first name, uh, you want to display uh, first name. You got to put this tag, and then you can just pick from this uh, drop down menu. So what it does is, uh, so once somebody log in, uh, yeah, so user uh, can just um, it's already filled out as a default value. Okay, so once you log in for the login user users. All right, so and let's scroll down, and here are the Jet Engine user meta that I created. Okay, so your organization and then website and then skills and then this is just a text field so go to input and then as so i got the simple text i just drag and drop right here and then just uh, put the you know your organization okay so click like that and i'm just gonna delete and then url as well so um so I just use a website URL, just drag and drop here. And the last one is checkbox. I just drop a checkbox and then checkbox. Um, yeah, you can just add a new uh, item here. And then so make sure you put those values. And if this is a required section, you just hit the add. Uh, just make everything simple for now. Now, before we move on to our um, next uh, setting uh, integration, uh, let me just go back to um, uh, Flint CRM, it's called hit save form, uh, Flint CRM part, and then how to add those custom fields. Okay, so go to um, Flint CRM and then uh, go to settings. And then, so there's custom contact field. Okay, so click that and you can add. Okay, so just uh, create a new add button to add and then just put the name. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's just take a quick look here. So your organization, and then uh, uh, here's just slug. I think it generates automatically. And then skills. Okay, so skills. Uh, so you can pick, uh, this is a checkbox. So you can, you know, if the most of the case I use single line text, but in this case, I have to use a checkbox. And then this is label, and then you can just add a new options right here. Okay, and if you go to contact, uh, just pick one right here, then you can have those field right on the bottom here. And then let's go back to um, dashboard and then forms. And then, so this is the one, remember profile update. And then, so now, so let's say this is finished. Uh, you know, if you want to keep adding more field, uh, go ahead. But um, let's move on to settings and integration. So, Go to uh, integration here. And I've already added two integrations. So one is updating user information. That's a WP user. And then uh, the other one is uh, in integrating with the Fluent CRM. So let me just uh, quickly show you uh, the first one here. So this is basically, um, uh, you got to map things out. So first you have to uh, just put the feed name and then uh, so you can just use um, a list here in this case uh, so i don't have like members uh, but you can create a list and then uh, again so this is a crm it's not just a simple contact uh, management right so you can add a list so basically you can map the information the name is so usually you can just use a drop down menu and then you can click that and then usually it generates a code or um, march tag tag okay so it's pretty simple and the other field which is a custom field here okay so organization website skill and here again so you can so if it's organization 
uh, because we create a custom field so you if it's it's here so you just click this and it generates uh, this tag or code and then same thing website url it's here okay so you just pick from drop down menu so this is the kind of fine settings here so skip if contact already existed but again this is like i want to update um uh the members information so i don't want to check that just to uncheck and the skip name update yes i think i should check that because usually name doesn't change right so uh, mostly like address phone number you know could it be email uh you know those things change but the name shouldn't be changed okay so and they hit save so make sure again so you got to check this box enable this feed okay now so let's go back to um another integration here so user update so basically you got to hit the add a new and then uh, so user registration and update so you can pick that now in order for you to have this you need to have fluent form pro uh, so i'm using pro as i said and then here you see integration so if you don't see uh flint crm integration or the user registration or update integration make sure you enable this section so go to fluent form pro and the integrations and then make sure you enable this okay and also fluent crm so make sure you enable this uh, option too okay, okay and then i already created and enabled so let's just uh, take a quick look here all right so this is just name user update and the service user update again so this demo is to update the user's information okay but uh, uh definitely i have to create the user registration as well uh let's just delete those i think that setting is not right okay so i'm gonna do it again so basically you have to map things out so a username so you gotta click this so it's easy it's all listed here and then for the users i think general smart code okay so in this case um username is username so i just pick that okay and email address is going to be uh, so users email address yeah here you go and then first name Use the first name and then last name. Okay. So pick that. Okay. So um, yeah, I don't need the rest of that uh, for now. And then uh, so just uh, ignore this section. I was just testing uh, for the four five photo. And now you can see here. Uh, so the latest version. What? above 5.1 uh, you got the jet engine meta mapping here okay so we have your organization website so let's uh uh so you can yeah so you can just pick the drop down it's already uh it's there and then here uh so your organization is going to be uh, your organization so you just pick that and then generate this okay i'm gonna just uh, delete it and the same thing is uh, here drop down here and you'll see uh, website url okay and then now advanced field so because i didn't see here i'm gonna just uh, checkbox so i didn't see that so you have to create advanced uh, field because this is checkbox and then now you see the skills and then uh, select the field it's already there actually and then like that and then make sure you're gonna uh, enable this feed and they hit save okay all right so next one is uh yeah quickly just to run through uh, how to create a custom um, members account page like this again so this is more jet engine tutorial and uh, so there's lots of uh, tutorial materials materials on the youtube but let me just quickly go through so you have to use this profile builder let's click that yeah, so basically let's go to pages and then so you can just create an account page and then you can just just uh, assign uh, which page you want to use for this account page and they use uh, you know use page content and hide admin bar uh, for members okay and then so go to account page here so you can do all the settings and here uh so these are pages you know i got the main or the new post edit and here is the 
uh, update profile so which is here okay and then uh, so let's just quick look so you have to use our uh, creative template so i use elementor uh, so i'll show you in a minute and also like available for user so you just create a user role and then uh, uh, this is accessible for admin and a subscriber and member and basically i just go to element uh, template and go to save template and i use this update profile let's just click uh, edit with elementor because i use elementor for this all right, so if you have JetNG, so there's a profile menu uh, widget here. Uh, yeah, so you can just drag and drop here, okay? And then here is uh, just a short code, okay? So I use Fluent CRM uh, form ID, uh, which is, uh, let me just pause my video here. Yeah, just a form, uh, there's a form, and then just open up a uh, bunch of form, and I'm using, uh, member profile update form and they are oh, here we go so there's a, a form id so this is just short code you just click the copy so it's copied and then uh, paste on that okay so that's the form okay so super easy all right so let's test it out here and then uh, so let's uh, change this um, so let's say change the company to uh, you know that here too and then let's uh, use the JavaScript and they hit update all right and then uh, so this should change too uh, if I refresh this change to Netflix okay only JavaScript and also um, on the CRM side so this is also updated now, the reason I'm so excited about this is because the user can actually update their content or their contact information, the profile, and then that reflect to um, Flint CRM. And another thing is with JetNG, so you can easily uh, create um, a member directory or maybe company directly uh, site um, again so I'm going to create another separate uh, tutorial for this and I was testing yesterday uh, here is a profile the jet engine the listing um, module here so quickly give you some preview here so you can create all the information of the data from from fluent CRM and you can create uh, the member profile and no, and also member uh, directory page with this. Yeah, because show this to you. Um, so this is probably this user, right? So for example, this user, so you get the same image here. And then, um, yeah, so I'm sure if you change to um, information 5555 and then call it update, and then uh, let's refresh this so this changed too right yeah i just wanted to uh, quickly share this tutorial and i hope uh, this helps and then uh, you can create amazing website too so i'll see you next time